Tyler couldn't make it, but I could take a message. Oh snap, the girl is back with another crochet video. But today, y'all, mm. Y'all ain't even ready for this one. I'm not even ready for this one because I'm so excited, okay? Long story short, I found a technique from this YouTuber right here, can't remember her name, where you can do individual crochet with no cornrows and no rubber bands. Boom, what? Yes, no rubber bands because I know a lot of y'all don't like rubber bands and no cornrows because I know a lot of y'all say you can't braid. And even though, yes, you see braids here, I believe every single one of y'all could do a plait, but if you really, really, really tried and you really can't get these little plaits, you can also do a twist. And if you really, really, really don't want to do a twist, the craziest thing about this technique is you don't have to. You just need to part your hair and leave it loose and use this bad boy. My mom is the bomb.com. She saw me struggling and she was like, Ariel, do you want me to do it here for you? And I was like, yes. By the way guys, I say this all the time. If you're not following my mom on Instagram, you're making me question our friendship. So, let's do this. Oh, I feel like my videos are becoming more and more just out of whack. <laughs> so, um, for the rest, because I'm in a mad rush, she cornrowed the back, but obviously you could do your whole head in singles, but y'all, I have no patience. No, I have patience, I don't have time. That's the problem. Well, my mom did this pattern because I want to be able to put my hair up in a ponytail. I'm not gonna lie, this is the very, very first time I'm doing this. I didn't even show y'all the hair we're dealing with. Well, one second. So today, very important, let's backtrack. Let's back all the way up the track. The hair I got from Princess of Beauty Supply. If you've been watching my previous videos, you already know this. I'm gonna take y'all to the store because it's more fun when I take you guys to the store and then you guys get a little sneak peek of what's there. So, you know, let's go to the store. All right, y'all, so we is back. At Princessa. Yo, there's so much, there's so many selections here. It could be overwhelming. So I'm gonna help y'all out and I'm gonna choose one. So, oh my gosh, I forgot your name. What's your name again? <laughs> okay, so we got Diana here. <laughs> and I decided this time I'm gonna go with the uh, Spectra Lux. Yes, Spectra Lux. I don't know. We're curious to know how it looks. So we're gonna go with it. We're gonna take seven packs. Yep. Hopefully it's enough. I feel like you need like eight packs. Eight? Should I just take the eight just in yeah. case? Yeah, let's go with eight packs. Cause we don't know y'all. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I never tried that either. So we could try that. You wanna get this too? I guess, yeah, we could try that too. So yeah, I decided to go with this. I'll leave all the links in the description box below. You put the hair through the hook, push it through underneath the braid. Bruh, you know the problem is I'm hooking the wrong part. Let me hook the actual braid there. The Ariel, wow, you whack. That was so much easier. Okay. So you pull that through like that and you crochet that in. And as you can see, we got our little knot going on. Traditionally, the individual technique is that you weave the hair in and out, in and out, in and out. Y'all already saw me struggle with the faux locks trying to do that method, okay? So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take some of the got to be. I believe you could get this at Princess as well. Take a good bit and you're just gonna coat your natural hair with it. Just coat your braid. Now what we're gonna do is wrap. This is literally the first time I'm ever doing this. I'm talking to you guys like I'm an expert in this and I've done this before. I've never done this. But I'm gonna continue speaking like I know what I'm doing. I know almost exactly what I'm doing. And you're going to wrap it around the base of your braid. I'm guessing, well at least I, I don't know how she did it, but I'm going to do it quite firmly because I don't want this bad boy to come out. So you're gonna wrap it. I know she only put got to be once, but I'm a little bit paranoid. So I'm gonna put a little bit more. I'm gonna take some more out. And as I wrap, I'm gonna keep putting the gel. I'm going real slow for y'all. So you can see what I'm doing. You just gonna wrap it. Basically what you're doing is a Bantu knot. This is exactly what you do when you're doing a Bantu knot. Wow, you can't even see it. Like I'm kind of losing my, I don't know where my hair is anymore. You just keep doing it until your hair disappears out of your head. And bada bing bada boom. That's it. To be dead honest, I cannot find my hair. I don't know if I should be happy. 
people are scared. That's not my hair. This is the knot of the box braid. This is the crochet. I don't know what happened there. I think I pulled it wrong. Whoa, that's so cool. Look at that. Revolution. We have revolutionized crochet. Her video only has like 100K views. That is insane. And she said she came up with this. This bulk thing here, this is really, this is the crochet here. This is not even my hair. I don't know. I didn't crochet it right, I guess. And according to her, it does not come out. Whoa, y'all, I'm looking in the mirror. I literally can't see my hair. Let's do number two, let's do number two. Okay, finally. Now that went in properly, good. There's no bulk there. So let's go back with our got to be gel. You have to get the, glue, the clear one, okay guys? Don't buy the white one, that one is a mess. That's a hot mess. So I'm just gonna coat my hair with it. Start wrapping it around. And I'm really making sure to do it at the base, like, because the thing about it is that this is not a knotless style, so it really just looks like the regular knot of your crochet. Oh my, y'all, this is crazy. I'm so excited right now. I'm literally seeing the future. I'm seeing me doing all of, every single one of my individual crochet styles. You think I'm ever going back to the other method? I am never weaving my hair. What the what? Okay, I didn't put two layers of got to be this time because I forgot I was talking too much. Y'all, this is this is insane. This is crazy. Nah, 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 nah. This is crazy. And her video came out a year ago. Y'all, I've been sleeping. We've all been sleeping. What? I'm gonna share. Usually, I don't share my YouTube videos everywhere, like on Facebook and stuff, which I should. But I usually I don't because I'm just I don't know. I'm not that kind of person. But this? Oh, I'm gonna share this. I'm gonna share this everywhere, bro. And I'm just mad slow at things, so I'm pretty sure y'all can do that, like, done, but I'm just really slow. Guys, look at that! This one here, I'm gonna try something a little different. I think it's a little too bulky, because my hair on top is longer than the sides. The braids she had, that she was using in her video, they were jumbo, so you couldn't even tell. But with little braids, we're gonna have to put a little bit more thought into it. It's just as easy, but... We when we gonna we gonna use our brain a little bit. So I'm gonna start wrapping down, and now I'm gonna start going back up. Hopefully I left enough this time. Damn it, I didn't leave enough. Okay, I think I can only wrap maybe two times down. One, two. Now let's start going back up. And now let's go back to the root and make our bantu. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. That looks so much better, it's less bulky. So, if you got mini braids, y'all, you see, we're doing this together. We're, we, we're working this out together. So if y'all got the small braids like me, when your hair gets super thick, at the sides I don't have to do this, but as you can see at the top, my hair is a bit longer and thicker. Wrap down and then up again. So I have 11 braids in the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and crochet the rest.
this style is revolutionary. All right, y'all, that is it for today's video. Um, wow. All I have to say is wow, wow, wow. I'm going to come back and update you guys, if you care, <laughs> about how long these last. If they actually don't unravel so far, none of them are unraveling so far. So good. Wow, this method is amazing. And let's talk about these braids, y'all. It's so soft. I can't believe how soft they are. They're so so soft, and I don't. And I like how they're not bulky. You know, some crochet braids are just bulky, which is why I always say use the finger apart method. But these lay so nice and flat. I'm happy with the method. I'm happy with the braids. I'm happy with. Oh, and I use this oil to put in my scalp. Y'all remember to moisturize your scalp. I got this from Princess as well. Y'all know I've been using this in like basically all my videos. If you don't want to twist or braid the entire hair down. All you have to do is start twisting or braiding at the root because you need something to anchor the crochet hook. The crochet hook has to go underneath something so you either start braiding it or twisting it and then you could stop like like maybe an inch down and then just leave the rest of your hair out, take the gods of be gel, smooth that bad boy out and wrap it around. Because as you can see some of my braids weren't even braided all the way down. So it shows that you don't need to have your hair in a braid but I think I would think that it's better to braid or twist your hair because you get to protect your hair better because this is a protective hairstyle. But if you're not into the protection mode so much and you just want to get that bad boy wrapped up, well then you don't have to braid your hair, you don't have to twist it all the way down. But you do need, and you can use an elastic if you want. If you don't want to braid, you don't want to twist, you want to use rubber bands, you can clearly use rubber bands using the same method. If you guys would like to see me using rubber bands alone, I can, I can do that for you. Let me know in the comments. And yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you leave a big, fat, juicy, voluptuous thumbs up on this video. Comment down below. Share, share, share. Y'all, mm, don't be stingy with this method. Share. Even I'm going to be sharing this all over my Facebook. And I don't really do that. Because <laughs> I still kind of shy on Facebook. Isn't that weird? I'm still kind of shy that I do YouTube videos. That's so weird. It's been like three years. Anyway, I'm going to share this. Because y'all need to know. People need to know. So, share. Share, 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 share. And of course, subscribe to join the gang, gang, gang so we can hang, hang, hang. Hey, I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Peace.